Some political discourse is triggering some discord in Uxbridge. It's an anti-Trump sign set up in front of a man's home. Now, the sign's owner is fond of sitting alongside it and waving at those who drive by. Reaction says WBZ's Paul Burton is all over the place, but civil for the most part. Thank you, thank you, thank you, ma'am. If you happen to drive by North Main Street in Uxbridge, you're bound to stumble upon Bruce Alchambold. We got this, thank you, sir. With his single anti-Trump sign, he takes a seat and peacefully waves at the cars that drive by. Either love him or despise him. It's probably two-thirds positive. It's safe to say the seven-year-old is not a Donald Trump fan. He's been out here persistently seven days a week, seven hours a day, making it known. And I don't feel that Donald Trump has a moral compass whatsoever. His passion to see President Trump lose in 2020 brings him to tears. I usually cry almost every day down there. I'm about ready to cry in here, so it's, it's a passion. We, we just gotta, we gotta make it happen. Right across the street are Trump supporters. Yeah! This will be 18-year-old Bobby Osimo's first time voting. I think his accomplishments with the booming economy, with his foreign policy, his historic peace deals with North Korea, I think we can see four great years, honestly. Bruce has been out here for about 47 days. He says he plans to be out here for 50, 51 if Biden wins with a thank you sign. For the most part, he says people have been friendly, but there have been some Trump supporters that have made him a bit frightened. I'm threatened a lot, bullied a lot. Things have been thrown at me. I've been spit at. On Sunday, things were peaceful but loud. A little local town rivalry respectfully on display. I respect that man that sits over there. He's been out here every day, cold, hot, rain, snow, whatever, and he's been fighting for what he believes in, and I believe that every American should preserve that right. Bruce's biggest concern are not so much the protesters, but who they're protesting for. I'm really scared for this country. What happens if he wins? I'm scared if he loses. I've seen a lot of these people go by that uh, are going to be very angry if he loses. In Uxbridge, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.